Hi, we are going to document in-house labs in ECW. So from the progress note, you want to click on to treatment. And then you're going to click on where it says labs. And the lab window will open up here. You want to select add diagnosis so that there's always a diagnosis in that area. If other documentation has happened in this progress note, you'll already have diagnoses in this window. But you're just going to go ahead and select the appropriate diagnosis. Um, either a new diagnosis you can type in or select from the patient's problem list or any previous diagnosis. And you want to click OK. From here you want to make sure that you check off the diagnosis because you can't add a lab without a diagnosis selected. You want to make sure your type says in-house because we're documenting in-house labs and if you select contains it's going to give you just a list of all of the in-house labs that we offer here at the PDP. Um, today we're just going to do let's say a rapid uh, COVID test and maybe a urine pregnancy. Um, keep in mind that no matter what in-house lab you're documenting on, they both are documented, uh, they, all of them are documented the same way. So you'll see the ones that you click will transfer over to today's orders and we're going to close this window. We're going to see the labs that we selected inside of the treatment window. We're going to click on the buy next now one so that we can fill out the reason and all of the other information here. You want to uh, select if it's fasting or if it's a stat lab. If it doesn't apply, then that's perfectly fine. Um, you want to select your reason and this is the buy next now. So we're going to select rule out COVID. Your source is going to be intranasal. Today is going to be your collection date and then you can just click OK. And you want to do the same thing for the urine pregnancy test. Okay, so selecting if it's fasting or stat if it applies. And then the reason uh, for the pregnancy test, we're going to select screening. You'll always select the, re the reason, I'm sorry, that, pro uh, that applies to the in-house labs that you are completing. All right, check off the collection date and click OK. You're going to close the treatment window. And then you're going to click on the links to document the actual result. Okay, so first we're going to click on the urine pregnancy link. We'll just go from top to bottom. You want to go to the results tab. Mark off that you receive the result. And we are going to say that our person is not pregnant. Okay, so the result is going to be negative and we're going to click OK. You'll see the result now documented next to the lab. And then we're going to do the same thing for the buy next now. And we're going to click on that link. Maneuver to the results tab. Okay. Select that we received it and then enter your result. We'll also say that this patient was negative for COVID. Of course, you will select the result that applies to your specific patient. All right. Keep in mind never to mark it reviewed when the providers are reviewing the labs for the patients, they'll mark it as reviewed. We're going to click OK and you'll see the result for the buy next now test to the right of the actual lab. Remember to always lock your notes and check your patient out or change your status to WP if applicable.